The show has all the earmarks of a big hit, and it will have the most unusual novelties, headed by that versatile dancer, Hal Leroy, and so on. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. What is terrible, Mr. Brock? Everything. I want Hal Leroy for my show, and Emerson signs him up ahead of me. Oh, that's tough. I spent two months preparing my show, and Emerson is ready ahead of me. That's a bad break. Bad break? Huh. The bad break was when I engaged you to write my show. What have you written? No. Well, here. I've got an idea. Well, I've got a better idea. Now listen, you. Emerson's show opens in four weeks. We'll open one week ahead of it. But Mr. Brock, we... Now listen. You've got to go and find out what unusual novelties Emerson's got. Well, how can I find out? Well, you're supposed to be a friend of his. Snoop around a bit. Well, you know he won't talk. Now, listen, McGuire. Make him talk. And don't come back here until you've got the dope from him. Listen, you don't want me to steal anything from him, do you? No, don't steal it. Just borrow it. Huh. And listen, I want you back here with all the information before 6 o'clock. Well, I'll try. <laughs> Let's see if I can get Emerson again. With a sip, 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 take a tip, 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 careless skip, skip, skip away. As leaves upon the water flow along, you'll go drifting to a land of song. Just a trip, 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 do not slip, 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 for a nip, nip, nip will do. Oh, Mark, I am was right, I Mr. Emerson in. Just a minute. Well, who's calling? Freddie McGuire. How do you spell it? M C G U I R E. Sorry, Mr. Emerson's out of town. I must have spoke my name wrong. Any luck, McGuire? No, he won't talk to me. You've been hanging around here most of the week. Why don't you go back to the office and tell Brock that you can't see Emerson? What can he do to you? Yes, what can he do to me? What can he do? Is that all for tonight, Mr. Brock? Yes, that's all. And uh, don't forget to mail those letters in the morning. All right. Who's that? Why, it's Mr. McGuire. McGuire? Drag him in here. Come in, Mr. McGuire. Well, where have you been all week? Well, you told me not to come back until I got that information. Well, you got it, didn't you? Well, listen, Emerson's always been a good friend of mine. Friend or no friend? You tell me what he's going to do, or I'll... Uh... Mr. Brock, now... Now, uh, listen, if you want to leave this office alive, talk. Talk. Well, here's the whole thing. Hal Leroy plays the part of his own father. What? Yes. And the scene opens up with a horse car. A horse car? Sure. That's how Hal's father and mother get acquainted. Love through the ages has always been contagious. Something that has always been divine. Our plot uncovers two very ardent lovers back in 1899. She was waiting on the corner for a horse car. It was on a lovely summer day. She wore a bonnet of blue. A lovely hue, she was gay. He chanced to be the driver of the horse car. And as he reached the corner of the line, he stopped to let her on, and the thought began to dawn. And someday he would win that girl divine. She rode on the platform there yeah. beside him. While she eyed him, he was smart. He said, Miss, what is your destination? Conversation got its start On the trip he day she waited for the horse car He thought he was the attracting force But really on the side She only took the ride He 
does with the horse car? Oh, no, that's only half of it. Now, the next scene is winter, and it's snowing. Summer faded into autumn, then came winter, but you could really have she 
was still the moon Until a certain snowy, frosty day such a long time. I feel like we're old friends. <laughs> That's right. I don't walk much. Only on Sundays. Sundays? I'd be the proudest boy in town if I could walk you down Main Street some Sunday. When it's Sunday on Main Street and church is through walking with you I'll feel so proud We will greet friends on Main Street Nod howdy-do And then we'll steal away From the crowd Close by your side, dear It will be jumps from 1890 to 1950. 1950? Why does Emerson do that? Well, it's like this. The whole story is about the evolution of a dancing family. Now, Hal, in the first act, plays the part of his own father. Then he's Hal the first. And then in the last act, he plays the part of his own son. Then he's Hal the third. Oh, uh, that's a novelty. Yeah. And then he opens the 1950 act with a number called Ups and Downs. Ups and Downs, everybody has their ups and downs. It's a funny world, this bouncing, 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 up and down. Laps and frowns, everybody has their laps and frowns. Life is giving us a trouncing, 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 up and down. Take it on the up beat. Make your mind up that it's all a lark. Take it on the down beat. And you'll wind up. Dropping in the dark Kings with crowns Everybody even funny clowns Have their little share of bouncing, bouncing, bouncing Up and down 
That's one of them there new publicity stunts for Young Howe's new show. See? Well, see that sign? Howl and Roy and Rubber Lanes. That's what I used to call you. You like it, eh? Hey? Yeah. Why couldn't you write a story like that? Why couldn't I write a story like that? Well, listen, the truth is I never saw Emerson at all. The story I just told you is mine. The script has been laying here on your desk for weeks. Oh, this is terrible. Then that story is Emerson's? No. It really belongs to me? Yes, sir. But where can I get another Hal Leroy? I got one. Come in. Hell with us? Why, sure. <laughs> what do you think I've been doing all week? Sleeping? Say, did you tell him the new finish? No, Hal, you tell him. Well, when I finish my dance, my grandfather comes in with a horse car. Well, you mean the old horse car? Why, no. He's up to date now. Here, take a look at this. A streamlined horse car. 